Brent Solomon got his hands on that video. He joins us now with the very latest. Brent, we've decided to only share a portion of the video. Because we're talking about minors here, we're also blurring the faces of every child featured as well as some of the graphic activity that was caught on camera. What's up with you and the blacks? The viral video starts with the question, ever wonder what happens in the football locker room? It showcases football players from Short Pump Middle School simulating sex acts, black players on the ground, other students on top. What's going on? A student types, quote, we gonna blank the black out of these African-American children from Uganda. I felt sad for my child um, that he had to experience this. This parent doesn't want to be identified to protect her son. You see um, kids in the locker room um, forcing kids over the bench. Um, you see kids on the ground um, thrusting on other kids, um, making racial slurs as they're thrusting. You see the kids asking to get up and to, and to stop and screaming. That parent telling 12 what's also alarming, the behavior was allowed to go on as long as it did. I reached out to Henrico Schools, a spokesman saying the district is aware of the video, which is offensive and wrong. The district says it will take appropriate action. If I was one of those parents and my kid was on the bottom of that pile, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be angry. I took the video to Henrico Supervisor Tyrone Nelson, who believes the school system should take action. Are these kids playing around with? Or was this some type of um, racial situation? If it is, young kids being held against their will and being sexually manipulated, then that's one thing. Was it something that not everybody was okay with? No, they were not okay with it. Was he in a position to even really defend himself? No, um, he had people that were straddling over top of him. But racism should not be tolerated. You should be able to send your kids to school and feel as though they are being protected and safe. All right, while you heard the response from the district office, I took things a step farther, reaching out to both the school board chair and the board member who represents Short Pump. Since you elected them, we figured you deserve to hear their thoughts. Neither returned my messages. On your side, Brent Solomon, NBC 12.